this relation between uh, Jehovah and Israel is in a blossoming mode in, in one sense. You have uh, the seed of that relation planted, as it were, we'll look at this a little bit later, in the Exodus out of Egypt. And that relation of that, of that reciprocal relation of mutual fellowship is continuing to blossom and, and grow and is moving in, in, inexorably, organically, and progressively to its full flowering in Christ. And what you get with these prophets, especially Hosea and Isaiah, if you think of the organic metaphor, uh, which Voss used back on page, I believe it's page seven, that we're moving from the seed to the bud to the full blossoming of the covenant relation between the triune God and his people in union and communion with the promised Messiah, old, ascended, new. And, and so as we study it using this method, we can start to see facets of this covenant relation that are building on and surpassing previous revelation, moving toward the omega point in Christ and the new covenant. And so when, when Isaiah is 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 looked at and we, we won't talk about every single detail here but we'll hit the main structural points on page 257 as regards isaiah that first full paragraph this is fascinating the emphasis in isaiah is on the absolute sureness we might be able to substitute certainty the absolute sureness or certainty of the divine promise and so as you think about Jehovah's relation to Israel, what comes through and begins to predominate uniquely in Isaiah's corpus is the steadfast, certain promise of God that he will judge his enemies and bring his people into that ideal eternal state of fellowship with the triune God in the servant. And it's really that that's that's a that's unique, Camden. I mean, we wouldn't even be asking that question if we didn't have a biblical theological method before us. What is what does what what is the emphasis? What is unique? What stands out as predominant in Isaiah's conception of the covenant? Voss says, well, the absolute certainty of the divine promise to destroy the enemies of God and to bless the people of God and bring the ideal consummate form of the kingdom to fruition through the servant. 